Something that I think was ingrained in me growing up is that every person has value. But because of the stigma, they can't be honest about their lives and what's happened to them. Since 2002, I've been in the field of mental health. And when you are working in mental health, you are also working with addictions. You cannot silo yourself one or the other because there's always going to be a crossover. The area of the state that I work in is very rural. So we really serve a wide range of women, all ages, all levels of pregnancy. I believe for women and mothers, one of the biggest barriers is not being with their children. We can get them established with a provider. We can get them on some medicated assisted treatment if needed and make sure that that baby is healthy when baby's born. We're helping moms breastfeed. We're helping them with babies in the middle of the night. You know, these are the things that we're doing because somebody did them for us. If you need me to sit with you while you cry, I'll sit with you while you cry. If you need me to hold your baby so you can take a shower because you haven't showered in two days, like, let me hold your baby. Let me be there for you. And we're in this together. We get to see people at their worst, but we also have the privilege of seeing people at their best. Having, I think, clients say to us, nobody cared about me before. You guys care about me. And it becomes very personal for us. You know, I think a lot of women get the message of we have to do all. We have to be the perfect wife. We have to be the perfect mother. We have to have the career. And so there's all of this pressure put on us. And so when we fall down, sometimes we fall hard. One of the biggest misunderstandings of addiction is if we take everything important away from you, you will stop. And you can take all of that away. And that's just gonna make people worse. I haven't found a single person that has sat down and said, I want to do this for the rest of my life. We're punishing people with addiction and not always treating people with addiction. These are our friends and family. This is someone I went to high school with. This is my aunt, my child. Regardless of what they've done, we need to make sure that we're there for them when they're ready to come back and be part of this community. As communities, we need to be open to people who are in recovery, to put yourself in their shoes. <laughs> Knowing what addiction is and how it functions and how it works will just help our overall community.